I'm Chris with Tactical Aviation. Weight and balance is an important part of aviation, and drone pilots should have a thorough understanding of it. Before each flight, the remote pilot in command should verify the aircraft is correctly loaded by determining the weight and balance condition of the aircraft. An aircraft's weight and balance restrictions established by the manufacturer or builder should be closely followed. Compliance with the manufacturer's weight and balance limit is critical to flight safety. Operating above the maximum weight limitation compromises the structural integrity of the aircraft. Conditions that affect takeoff and climb performance, such as high elevations, high air temperatures, and high humidity may require reduction in weight before flight is attempted. Other factors to consider prior to takeoff are runway, launch area length, surface slope, surface wind, and the presence of obstacles. These factors may require reduction in weight prior to flight. Weight changes during a flight also has a direct effect on aircraft performance. Fuel burn is the most common weight change that takes place during a flight. As fuel is used, the aircraft becomes lighter and performance is improved, but this could have a negative effect on balance. The following terms are used when computing a small UAS weight and balance. Basic empty weight, maximum gross weight, arm, moment, center of gravity. The starting point for weight computations is the basic empty weight. This is the weight of the aircraft, optional equipment, unusable fuel, and all operating fluids including engine and transmission oil and hydraulic fluid for those aircraft so equipped. Maximum gross weight is the maximum allowable weight of the aircraft during operation. Excessive weight reduces the flight performance in almost every respect. In addition, operating above the maximum gross weight limitation can compromise the structural integrity of an unmanned aircraft. The arm is the horizontal distance measured in inches from the datum line to a point of the SUAS. If measured aft toward the defined rear of the aircraft, the arm is given as a positive value. If measured forward toward the defined front, the arm is given as a negative value. For aircraft weight and balance computations, moment is expressed in terms of distance of the arm times the aircraft weight. If the moment exceeds the control capacity of the aircraft, it becomes unstable or uncontrollable. The formula that is used to find a moment is usually expressed as follows. Weight times arm equals moment. The center of gravity is the point about which an aircraft will balance. It is expressed in inches from the datum. The CG is found by dividing the total moment by the total weight. And the formula is usually expressed as follows. Total moment equals CG divided by total weight. To ensure that the unmanned aircraft center of gravity limits are not exceeded, follow the aircraft loading instructions specified in the pilot's operating handbook or the UAS flight manual. The CG is not a fixed point marked on an aircraft. Its location depends on the distribution of aircraft weight. As variable load items are shifted or expended, there may be a resultant shift in the CG location. Remote pilot in command should determine how the CG will shift and the resultant effects on the aircraft. If the CG is not within the allowable limits after loading, do not remain within the allowable limits for safe flight, it will be necessary to relocate or remove some weight before the flight is attempted. Let's take a look at a common FAA exam question. To ensure that the unmanned aircraft center of gravity limits are not exceeded, follow the aircraft loading instructions specified in the A. Pilot's Operating Handbook or UAS Flight Manual B. Aeronautical Information Manual or C. Aircraft Weight and Balance Handbook A. Pilot's Operating Handbook or UAS Flight Manual Thank you, and I'll see you next lesson.